wanted to mention too, actually, why we're talking about uh, young Josh as you know, as an artist. You told me at Wicked Comic Con that you kind of you did artwork with Sean Gordon Murphy when you were younger yeah. too, right? Yeah. Tell tell yeah, us all that about that story because I'm sure everyone out there who reads comics knows who that is. You know. You know, it's it's funny because uh, from the time that I that I knew him to like. I didn't know that he had gotten a career in comics because I left comics back in like 2000 and I didn't kind of come back into the world till later. So we used to have, uh, there was a store in, in, uh, in Drake at Mass uh, called the flea and okay. uh, Sunday nights, they would have like kind of an art night. We had this room upstairs and a bunch of us would get together up there and, and draw comics and, you know, pretend like we were going to have like uh, a publishing company and all of this crap. <laughs> yeah. um, but like some people would write, some people would draw, you know, some people would just hang out just to hang out. And and, you know, people who came into the store, you know, the, the guy who wanted would mention it to people who came in that had an interest in art. And we'd been doing it for a year or two years, maybe or something like that. And then one day the, the you know, people came came in and out. What year was this kid this what you, what year it? was this roughly? Oh, this was I want to say 93, 94. -ish. Okay. Somewhere in that area. And this kid comes up and you know, he was probably 10, 11 years old. Maybe no, no, maybe 12, right? And he's like his parents came up with him and kind of had to like scope the room and be like, all right, am I leaving my my kid here with a bunch of this is psychos, you know, is there an adult present, you know, kind of thing, <laughs> yeah. you know, and uh, and then he just sort of hang out and, and draw with us. And, you know, he was young. Right. And and uh, he would ask he would ask questions about this and that or whatever. And I would I would look at his work. And at the time, um, you know, uh, image was just out of the gate. Crazy. Right. Everyone yeah. was Liefeld, Jim Lee crazy. Yeah. So that you can picture the style of art that oh yeah everyone was doing that yeah. a young mind and I kind of said to him like look dude like you don't want to emulate this art right like you, this is not good art it may be popular art but it's not good art like find like find your own thing and uh and so he's uh, he must have taken it to heart I guess right and I'd show him a few things here and there but uh you know I'd, I'd introduced him to like Pantera and. Metallica, like we'd have a boombox up there that we would crank, and I largely would take it over and you know annoy everybody with my music. Um, but so yeah, was and he then drawing he, in the image style, like Liefeld and stuff. When, yeah, when you yeah, met him? yeah. Oh, wow, but okay. but in a very like without knowing the fundamentals of art. So like you know like the like the, the he knew he had he knew to draw the lines on the side of the face and the guy going, Arr! but like. <laughs> You know, the, the big pads and things, <laughs> yeah. you know, but without like the the foundations of actually being an artist, you know, and then, yeah, like you, not you know, knowing the anatomy you know? and things like that. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And, uh, you know, apparently he lived near nearby. Uh, I think he went to Pinkerton Academy, I think in Derry or London, something like that. But uh, yeah. And then, you know, he went for a bit. And then over time, like uh, all of us kind of, you know, we were getting girlfriends and kind of moving out of this. It was clear that whatever we were doing in there was not becoming a thing. Right. So uh, we would, you know, we'd not be there every week. And eventually we just didn't see him anymore. And uh, it was a good kid, whatever, no, you know. And then years go by, you goes by. I'm, I haven't gone been in the store forever, and I, uh, I, I think it was, I don't remember the year, but I think he, Sean had done Punk Rock Jesus. I think. Yeah, so, that was when I first heard about yeah. him. Yeah. yeah, and it was, and he was hanging in the 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 wall. I went, I stopped in the store to say hey, and then I'm like, they're like, check this out. And I'm like, yeah, all right, well, what's up with that? It's like. That's the kid who used to come up to the draw and the thing. I'm like, no kidding. And uh, so I just thought that was cool, but uh, I never really had run into him or anything. And then we did um, uh, Wicked Comic Con last year. And I'm like, oh, Sean's over there. I wonder if he remembers me. And uh, yeah, I went over there and it was just like a nostalgia wave just like took him over. And he was like, oh my God, like, <laughs> I remember you, you were you long hair. Did you know that... who you were instantly? Once I said it, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, yeah cuz yeah. I remember he had come over and I didn't want to interrupt you guys, but he had come over to talk to you and I think another friend of yours cuz yeah. you were right next to me at Terrific or not Terrific on at uh, Wicked. Yeah. And I was like, "Oh, I kind of want to just say hi to Sean Gordon Murphy, but I didn't want to 
I didn't want to be like the guy that interrupted all you guys. So I, I was like, I'll wait. And then he went back and his line just never ended the whole weekend. So I never got to say anything to him. Yeah. But and, I do like, like his work a lot. I think he's really good. He's so he's super talented. Uh, and I, I feel like, and it kind of kills me a little bit. Like, so you're saying if I never stopped drawing, like <laughs> I could have done that, you know, like, I don't know. Right. But, uh, Oh yeah, no, and and I like I said, everyone. He's apparently quite a big deal. He had like an art school or something. But I'm like, I'm like, oh yeah, that's that kid, you know. Oh yeah, he did a crowdfunding campaign a couple of years ago. Made 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 two hundred grand. You know, no big deal. Not bad. You know, <laughs> not yeah, bad, right? Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. I mean, I'm 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 dude. I'm proud of him. You know, like I don't I can't take lay any claim to his success, but the fact that like. You know, I, I was part of that journey. It is cool. If you're a writer, podcaster, artist, or indie creator of any kind, you'll know what a struggle it can be to find creative services at an affordable price. And that's where Gig comes in. The global indie group has everything you need under one roof. You can connect with publishers, writers, editors, artists, videographers, musicians, composers, voiceover artists, podcasters, and more. Hi, I'm Lori Calcaterra, and I'm on Gig. Hi, this is Ben from Comic Book Squares, and we're on Gig. This is George Medina, and I'm on Gig. Hi, I'm Morgan, and I'm on Gig. I'm Lauren. And I'm Matt, and we're Hops Geek News. The geek-centric, beer-loving pop culture podcast. We're on Gig. Cheers. Hi, I'm Letsy, and I'm on Gig. Hi, I'm Witty, and I'm on Gig. We're on Gig. Head to globalindiegroup.com now and check it out.